Hello, my name is Alexa and I am in first grade. And my name is Johnny. I'm also in the first grade. Today, we will talk about how we process information. Johnny and I will explain to you how information processing occurs. Let us begin by explaining memory. Memory can be divided into three functions. Encoding, getting information into memory. Storage is retaining information over time. And retrieval, which is taking the information out of storage, like a storage box. Ah. Memory is divided into three time frames, sensory, short-term, and long-term memory. Sensory memory are the things that are going on right this second that you remember just for an instant. Short-term memory is memory that is contained for only 30 seconds. And last but not least is long-term memory. This is the information that is remembered for a long, long time. Long-term memory can be further broken down to, um, oh yes, I remember. It can be broken down to two categories, episodic and semantic. Episodic memory is a recollection of specific events, situations, and experiences. For example, remembering the first day of school. Then there's semantic memory, which is ideas, meanings, and concepts that are not related to anything personal. An example of semantic memory would be knowing what a cat or dog is. Ah. Now, for the last leg of our discussion, we'd like to talk about metacognition. Metacognition is when you think about thinking or know about knowing. It sounds pretty complicated. I think you should explain it, Johnny. Sure, Alexa. I would be glad to. Basically, metacognition helps you know how to store information into the long-term memory. Students will purposely manage their thinking to improve cognition. An example of a metacognitive strategy would be, hmm, how about learning the ABCs as a child? The teachers always teach it in a song so it has a better chance of staying in the long-term memory. Great example, Alexa. To expound, the song helps the ABCs become something a child can remember as opposed to just memorizing the alphabet and it becoming something you heard but don't really know. To conclude, we'd like to say thank you for joining us today. Yes, thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed. Hopefully this will stay in long-term memory of yours.